What's up, Nerdgenic Nation and new viewers to this channel? I'm your host, Rust the CEO, and in today's video, I will be reviewing Chorus the Video Game. Chorus is another game I happened to stumble across in the Xbox Game Store recently, and I thought this might be a fun game to play and review for our community. Now, Chorus has recently become available on Xbox Game Pass, but it's also available to play on a variety of other platforms such as PlayStation 4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, Google Stadia, and PC. In my review of Chorus, I'll be sharing my thoughts on the overall story, the gameplay, and difficulty. At the end of this review, I'll give this game a rating which we like to call the Fun Factor Score on this channel, so thank you in advance for watching, and I hope you enjoy my Chorus video game review. Chorus is a sci-fi open world shooter developed by Deep Silver Fish Labs. Now in Chorus, you'll play as Nara, who was once a warrior for the game's primary antagonist, the Circle. Now Nara has been granted abilities or rights that will aid you in combat and help you unlock special memories that will slowly reveal the story to you during your playthrough. At first glance, Chorus is a story of multiple layers and great depth, so much so that I wasn't exactly sure what was going on at first. Now, when you're introduced to Nara, she's helping different space communities as an undercover warrior of sorts. It's clear that Nara is not 100% aware of what is going on from the start, but as you play through the campaign, you'll learn and experience the deadly truth about Nara, her mission, and her larger role in the overall plot at the same time as her. This type of storytelling doesn't always go over well, but Chorus really had me intrigued from the initial introduction. As I played through the story and gathered memory fragments in the world of Chorus, it seemed to open up to me in a way that very few open world games did. Now, I felt encouraged to explore the world and complete the different side missions. I truly felt invested in Nara and where the story was headed. Now, this doesn't mean Chorus is without its faults. Other than Nara and the very few main characters in this game, not much else is really touched on. The different groups of people you encounter are so similar and bland sometimes that they really could just be anyone. But even with this, the story is still intriguing enough to earn a playthrough. Now let's talk about the reason you're interested in this review in the first place, and that's the overall gameplay. So I thoroughly enjoyed playing Chorus. Chorus is fast paced, it's fun, and slightly challenging. Now in Chorus you'll pilot a ship that uses three main weapons, a Gatling gun, a missile launcher, and a laser cannon. Now each weapon is designed to fulfill a specific role and can be easily switched to during combat. Now the Gatling gun is more of your primary weapon and can be used to help take down a variety of targets, but it can lack power. The missile launcher can be used to take out slower moving targets or times when you need more firepower, but it does require a more precise touch and the laser cannon is great for taking out enemy shields. On top of this, you'll unlock new abilities while playing such as the ability to vaporize enemy shields and turn into a falling star and lunge at your enemies. Your abilities as well as your weapons can be upgraded over time and you'll upgrade both via combat and power ups earned by completing the various story missions and the different elements in the game or side missions. All of these gameplay elements alone do not seem like much, but added together in Chorus, they really create something truly enjoyable. You are in your ship the entire game, which reminds me of Star Fox 64 for some reason, but once you get the hang of the overall controls, the combat almost becomes second nature. As you progress throughout the story, there will be a variety of enemy types and the difficulty will increase over time. But as long as you spend time completing the side missions, you'll earn enough loot to improve your overall ship performance, making combat a breeze. Now, if I had to give Chorus a rating based on the difficulty alone, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Most of the deaths I experienced were primarily due to me not completing an objective in time, but you can prevent this by simply mastering your ship's movement. A helpful tip for those struggling with this game's difficulty is to treat this like any other open world game. You want to complete the numerous side missions first before jumping into the main story. Some of these side missions will lead to unique power-ups and weapons that'll make the main story so much easier. You'll also want to look for in-game currency known as credits. You can find credits easily by using Nara's Rite of the Senses ability or by completing simple side missions. This is an easy way to improve your weapons and purchase armor and new power-ups. 
Now, if you find Chorus's gameplay too difficult or you just want to play to enjoy the story, you can lower the difficulty to the lowest setting. Now, I played on the normal setting for this review and I enjoyed every minute of it and found it balanced quite nicely. I'll wrap up my review by talking about the open world aspect of Chorus. Chorus does a good job at providing you with an interesting open world that encourages player exploration, but sadly there isn't much in the way of side quest. If you're looking for a true open world experience, Chorus will disappoint you in this area. The open world in this game is similar to that of games like Gears 5 or Halo Infinite. Now there is room for exploration, but it is extremely limited and I'd say much more so in Chorus. Now all of the new areas you explore are all centered around the game's main story and the side quests are more of just a way to acquire additional loot. Most of the side missions involve you either helping someone with fuel, locating a random object, or defending someone from enemy ships that appear. Now I'm glad there aren't many of these missions and no real grind mechanic to this game because I would hate to have to repeat these missions over and over. Chorus was a fun experience overall. It doesn't have too much going for it in the open world department, but that is really a minor issue that I feel won't hinder the game experience for many players. You'll be too busy learning about Nara, her story, and having fun fighting enemies to even notice its faults. So for this reason, I've decided to give Chorus a fun factor score of 8 out of 10. Now it's time to hear from our viewers. After watching this review, will you play Chorus? If you've already played this game, share your thoughts in the comments as your comment may help others decide if this game is worth their time and money. In the meantime, if you'd like any more video content from us, check out my review of Sniper Elite 5 or my short review of Evil Dead the Game. Thank you again for watching my course review and follow Nerdgenic for more great content.